Hello, everybody. Welcome to another session of Agent Mastermind, the real estate animals. I am so excited to hang with you guys again. I appreciate you coming and joining us. Got some really good stuff for you today. And I, um, I here's the agenda. Let's just go into the agenda. How to harness the power of video marketing without being in the video. I'm going to show you how we did it today. Now, we were actually in it for a literally 10 seconds total. And I'm going to show you how you can do the exact same thing. How to use video to interact with your Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube, and Pinterest fans. Uh, again, not being in the video. And then video ideas to connect with your new clients, current clients, past clients, new buyers and sellers that you don't even know yet. And then using video on YouTube, Pinterest, LinkedIn, Twitter, and Facebook to build interest and desire. And that's probably the big part is build interest and desire, let people get to know you on a deep level. And then I'm going to touch on Gene Project and Fiverr, how to take your video and literally explode it out there on the social media site and all a bunch of other sites. So let's do this. First off, being that it's 9-11, let's just, uh, Paul, you mind if I just have one second, a moment of silence for the victims or the families of 9-11? I think it's absolutely appropriate. All right, let's do it. Okay, everybody. I appreciate you joining us today. So I just want to cover a little, couple stats about Facebook that I got from Dan Zarello in HubSpot of HubSpot Analyzed Data on a monthly, let me just get this out of my way here, on a more than 1.3 million posts by top 10,000 Facebook pages. So this is some really good stuff, okay? And how to get more likes, comments, and shares. Now, I just want to share this with you because I was amazed by this. I thought, okay, and, I, and, and then I, after I share you the stats, I have some questions for you. So let's just do this. So first off, Facebook, like percentage. So the most likes come from photo. We've touched on this a long, I mean, a bunch. But photos create the most likes out of anything that I'm going to cover, which and today I'm going to cover video, but it's still in line with, it's still third in line. But my question is, and here's, and, and, you know what, I'll ask those questions in just a second. So like percentage, if you're putting a post up, and not putting a photo with it, you are either here or if you have a link, you're down here. So you're missing this huge percentage of people that might like, which would put it into another stratosphere of the Twitter feed, okay? Comment percentage. Again, photo is huge. Text is huge. Now, I did read a study, and I don't know if it's one of these, well, one of these pictures, but um, they said that the most read post was the ones that are 140 characters or less. So... You know, I hate to say this for all the women on the call, length does matter in this case. So 140 characters, video is still right there. Um, and then I'm going to talk a little bit about that next couple of questions. So share percentage, look at this, photo shares. So guys, use photos. But I'm going to show you how to take photo and put it into another stratosphere, okay? So let's take photo, add video to it, and touch people in a way that, I don't know, just gives them chills. I'm going to show you some stuff today that literally every time I watch it gives me chills. So... Here's a couple of questions for you, Paul. You, Paul, you still there, buddy? I am. I am. So can people, this is a good one, and this is not, uh, maybe a little bit of a tricky one. Can people get to know you by a picture? Sure. It's always okay. been said that a picture says, says a thousand words, right? A thousand words. That's a good answer. Good answer. Can they hear your voice? No. Can they feel your passion, excitement, anger, and sadness? If I try really hard in my picture to have the goofy, you know, to, to make <laughs> yeah, that right, come right. through, sure, but not very easily. Right. Here's, the, here's the big one, and i got to tell you, man, I hear this all the time. Will they recognize your voice at a party, an event, birthday party, or wedding when hmm. you're talking? That's huge. By looking at a picture. I mean, I'm telling you guys, it's huge. How long will they look at a picture? That question right there, if I could for just a second, Scotty, leads back to Absolutely. what the graphics you were showing about a photo gets more likes than, let's say, a video, for instance, or gets more shares than, let's say, a typical text. And the reason being is people are 100% visual when it comes to Internet surfing, not just on Facebook, but anywhere on, on the Internet. They're visual. They want to see, show me an image of something. Now, with a yeah. photo, I can take a quick three-second look, determine whether or not I like it and click the like button but that's it I've moved on after that three seconds right absolutely now here's the big one how long might they watch a video Paul 2.5 2 minutes point five, two. yep 2.2 2 minutes is exactly how long I'll be able to keep them on my video exactly so 2.2 2 minutes but if they look at a picture they go, oh that's a cool picture and then they move on You've yeah it's going to yep. get a lot of likes but they're not going to get I mean so I'm just 
I'm just kind of throwing it out there. Our pictures awesome. Well, they're the best, as I just showed you. Our video is even better to to com com complete a couple of these other things. Absolutely, okay. So, what I'm going to share with you today is one of my favorites, and it's and I'm going to show you how to use Animoto and just literally take this thing and put it on steroids and then send it out into outer space. So. Here's a couple ideas: birthday wishes, testimonials. Testimonials planning. is huge. To, to video so testimonials big. get. So I think the statistic I saw was like 72 percent more clicks and views than an actual text testimonial. Absolutely. Now, and I'm going to show you testimonials that don't have to be you in the video, but it can be pictures. Okay, and that's what animonials is all about: holidays, anniversaries, business card. Uh, business card's pretty cool in that. When you create a business card, a video business card, it lets them get to know you a little bit more. Like you can introduce yourself, they can mm. hear your voice, they can feel your passion for what you do for a living, they can feel, they can hear you um, say how you're going to help them get more exposure or find the home of your dreams, stuff like that. A great way to use this. Virtual the tours, next one is a um, huge one to me. I virtual tours, I hands down think is one of the greatest things that a, an agent can do with video, is of is course. give motion, give sound, give life to the tour of that yeah. property. And then events. I mean, like today, today I consider an event. Nine eleven. It's not a good event, but it's an event where everybody on planet Earth. I mean, who doesn't remember where they were on nine eleven? Seriously, I mean, I, I mean, I can tell you what, like, it's just easy to do. So why not make an event out of today? Get it out there and show you just show tribute to the past. I mean, to something that was so devastating to this country. And I'm going to share that with you today. So vacations, graduations, just because, mm -hmm. like, I mean, going back to birthday things. I mean, just because, like, I had a great friend of mine in, in, out of Idaho that got married, and I seen he posted on Facebook that he got married. Just a bunch of still photos. I'm like, man, what a cool. What a cool idea to go and grab all them photos and then make a video of it using Animoto. And I'm going to show you kind of what I'm talking about there. So here's the cool part about all this stuff is you can get ideas on a daily basis. And when I say ideas, of, and I'm going to break into that really deep, is when you, when, uh, when you come up with an idea, where do you put it? Like Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest now is a big one. I mean, Pinterest has moved into number third spot. It's like a huge race going on, man, between like Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest now. Like, and it the, 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 it doesn't matter who the winner is. We all benefit from this race. Absolutely. Everybody benefits. So if you're showing up to all the parties, right? I mean, there's five parties going on here. Pretty severe. So I want to show you how to literally tie in all these. So let's start with YouTube. Easy to upload from Animoto. So it literally is an export and import right into your YouTube channel. Uh, fourth largest social media site on planet Earth, now below Pinterest. Great for SEO and LEO on search engines, which means when someone searches for stuff, you can dial in your YouTube account, each individual video with really cool tag words and descriptions and websites and stuff like that that Google likes. And uh, who owns Google? I mean, who owns YouTube? Google does, right? So they want their stuff to be up there. Great for your brand, which when people are looking for you, are they seeing you or are they seeing somebody else, your competition? Uh, easy to SEO, LEO with description and tag words, which I kind of touched on a little bit already. And then people will watch up to a 2.2 minute, I think it's two and a half, maybe 2.2, two and a half minute video, which is huge when you want someone to get to know you, especially if you're doing an education piece, maybe a local event, wedding, all that kind of stuff. So uh, Pinterest, let's talk about that a little bit. Now the third largest social media site. Now I could be wrong on this, so don't hold me to it. But I did read last night, I think it was put up in March or April or May even, it might have even been June, that it now is the third largest social media site on planet Earth behind Facebook and Twitter. Easy to use with iPhone and Droid. Now, I talked to a couple people yesterday and this week and they said, it's just so addicting, I can't go there because I can't get off. But <laughs> if you have it on your Droid or iPhone, it's true though, have you ever, I mean, mm. pictures, you start looking at pictures like, well, holy crap, you just keep going and going and two hours later you're done, right? <laughs> so if you use if you treat it as a business and you go, all right, I'm gonna take my iPhone and take my droid and every time I wanna pin something, I use my phone app and then it does it's harder to see pictures on your phone, so it's you're less likely to get in you know, inundated with that. Sucked stuff into the to the viewer syndrome. <laughs> Very addictive for most. As I said, I, I hear this all the time. It's very addictive, so they have a hard time going there. So I'm, so I'm teaching people how to use it but it, but not get stuck in there. Um, has an RSS feed f um, for use in Hootsuite. 
or other whatever database management you use or if you want to push it to other sites. But each Pinterest account, we talked about that when we talked about Pinterest, is it has its own RSS feed, real simple syndication, which allows it to automatically pull and push through different social media gatherings. And just remember, uh, for those of you who are confused by that, um, two, a couple of weeks ago we did a class about how to manage your social media in 10 minutes. Uh, that class yeah. is available, so if, you, if you're looking to get a refresher course or you haven't seen the class on managing social media through Hootsuite and RSS feeds and Pinterest, all, all those things are on one class. Just contact the loan officer who, who sent you here today or invited you, and they'll be able to provide that class link for you. Sounds good. And I've seen the question, is, is um, Animoto free? Did you answer that, Paul? Free I did. It's, it, there are two okay. versions of it, and I'm sure as we get deeper yeah. into it, that uh, we'll going? cover that yeah. topic as well. Absolutely cool. Thank you. All right. So um, can have pictures, videos, and links. That's the cool part about this. I'm going to show you some pretty cool ideas in, with Pinterest that I really, really like. We're kind of building a platform of, like, as we do something, we are adding it. It's kind of – I like it some, somewhat better than Facebook in that when I post something – on Facebook, two weeks later, it's like I got to scroll and scroll, and it's like I can never find it, right? Or with Pinterest, I put it under a certain board. So if it's Facebook, I put it under a Facebook board. If it's videos, I put it under a video board. And I know it's got to be in that in that board. There's, I mean, I don't have to scroll down. It's just I open that board and it's in there somewhere. So it's just easier to organize your stuff as you grow with your marketing. Okay. Hmm. Um, going deep with your clients. So you just okay. Let's talk about. Let's, I, I'm going to kind of start to go into how this all transform and how to use those last things we talked about with Pinterest and YouTube, okay, and Animoto. So you just met a new buyer who is a veteran, and I'm using veteran because today's 9/11. It could be any. It could be anybody. So you just met a new buyer who is a veteran. You want to do something special for them to show your appreciation for serving our country, or you just want to do something special to stand out from other from competition because you know that they're going to be looking at other homes, looking at other signs, calling other real estate agents, and you want to stand out and connect and go deep with them, right? So, so how do you do that? And I'm going to show you some 9/11 stuff, and I actually put a bunch of photos together. Here's what I did: is everybody start posting 9/11 photos today, right? And now, does it relate to a veteran? No, but this is the story that I'm going to go into. Is every, today was the huge day. Everybody started posting, you know, 9/11, 9/11, 9/11. So I took all these photos and I put them into a a folder. And I'm like, all right, instead of posting one photo, I'm going to take all these photos and make a video out of it. Now, you can do this with many different ways. You can do this in many different ways. You can do it with um, birthday parties, like if, if it's someone's birthday today, you can grab photos off of their Facebook page. If there's a wedding, like I did for a buddy of mine, I grabbed all his photos and created a video that they loved. If there is an anniversary, if there is just a, somebody getting married, whatever, like a new child being born. I mean, how, I mean, I see most people will post 10, 15, 20 pictures of their new baby in different outfits and different settings and stuff like that. What an amazing opportunity to take those photos, create a video that has a link that is sent to them that they can keep forever, right? I mean, it's really, really powerful. So let's just tie it all together. So you take an idea, you take, which is we're going to use 911, and you take Animoto, and then you take YouTube. So we're going to start with those four. So you have an idea, and literally every day you can come up with something like this to wow. And I, when I mean wow, I wish I, I don't know if Jessica's on here today, but she's like the wow project queen. She is the master of wowing people. So if you want to wow somebody, this is how you're going to do it. So let's tie it all together. So let's tie in the rest of your social media sites. And I'm going to go live and do this for you. So you take your YouTube video from Animoto. You put it in Pinterest. You pin it, and I'm going to show you how to do that. You automatically set it up through Hootsuite to tweet out your Pinterest pin. Okay, and this is all going to make sense here in a minute. And then you log into Hootsuite, and then you take your Pinterest account and put it on Facebook and LinkedIn. So how many social media sites did I just cover in a very short period of time with one video that is a special event or a special outing? Five. 
There's five, five social yeah. media sites. Include YouTube is its own social media site, and and Absolutely. based on the way that YouTube works, that's a completely search engine optimizable site. So you could actually, above and beyond, you know, just with the the little format that you've got here, you could actually yeah. get it seen in in more places than just what you're showing here with the YouTube. If you if you optimize it the way you know, and if you need to know how to optimize. Uh, we did a class just last week on search engine optimization. The concept of what we talked about in that class actually works perfectly for your YouTube videos the same as it would for your blog or your website. It works exactly the same way because again it's yeah. Google who's looking for these results and these specific keywords to be placed in specific elements. So if you need access yeah. to that again, just contact the Loan Pro who invited you today and they'll be able to access that for you as well. Absolutely. So you guys see, I did this today, okay? I did this this morning. So we got here. We've seen it. I mean, there's a lot of stuff going on with 9-11. How, how do we stand out? How do we step outside the box and go, okay, we want to really, like, pay tribute and get it out to our net, like sphere of influence and, and actually give them a video that they can share with their sphere of influence, too. It's not about us. It's about the 9-11. So let me just uh, – so I've uploaded this September 11th, 2012. It's in YouTube, but I but it went from Animoto. I'm going to show you how I did this. So let me just play this a couple seconds of it, and I actually used a video, a song. And Paul, let me see if this works at all. And I I, I apologize. Those lost in this senseless tragedy. Spend all your time with for that second chance. Always remember, never forget. Okay, that just—I don't know about you, but that gives me chills, man. So hey, goosebumps what, every time what, I see it. Oh my God! Animoto allows you to put 10-second clips inside of a video. Okay, so you can have photos. These are all photos. Now, let me give you a couple other examples. Say you're doing a a, 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 a listing, like a new virtual tour for a new property. So you walk up to the home. And you announce within 10 seconds, hey, I'm walking into 123 Test Drive. Let's go in and check it out. Boom. So like the first part of the video would be you talking, and then you go into pictures. Boom, boom, boom. Kind of like what you'd normally do with a buyer when you walk in, right? Hey, this is 123 Test Drive. Let's go inside check it out. And then you have all these pictures. And then you get to the master bedroom, and you go, this is the master bedroom. You're going to love this. Boom, go inside. I mean, who can't say those lines, right? It's what you would normally say anyway. Just tie it into, now you don't actually have to be in the video. You, it could be just your voice tied to with the camera on and have it going and you saying it with a, a little visual of a 10-second intro into the master bedroom. You guys with me on that? Does that make sense, Paul? It, absolutely, and and one of the okay. strongest ways you can promote your, your listings is that way. With yes. your voice, or, or even better yet, with the voice of the seller. Hey, this Absolutely. is my master bedroom. Oh, we loved the space that we had in here. It, it doesn't have to be you. It doesn't have to be anyone in front of the camera. You can do it with images right. and stills or, or, or live pictures, whatever the case may be. Right. right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what it looks like when you start a new video. So what you're going to do is when you log into Animoto, and this is just this is so powerful. When you log into Animoto, there's a little thing that says create a new video. And then when you do, it's, uh, let's see, it's spooling up here, so let's see if this goes real quick here. And um, I'm going to show you the one I already did, just so I can show you the video and all that stuff to save the upload time. So it might just take a second here. So what, it's, what, it, what you're going to do is you're going to add pictures. You can add video to it. You can add your own music, but there's a million different songs inside here. And we're going to talk about how to, how to download and get your own songs. Um, I'm not sure what's taking so long here, buddy. All right, so my videos... And let me just log in here one second. I want to show you this. I want to show you the one that's already done. Uh, and then change the format on this just a little bit. So continue editing. Okay, there we go. Continue editing. And hopefully it'll just open up here. So what it's going to do is it's going to allow me to upload photos of any kind. So let me just go to Facebook and show you what I'm talking about here. So say that it is somebody's birthday today. And guess what? It's always somebody's birthday, okay? Um, so what you do is up here in the right hand right hand side. And there's my brother Carl. So let me just use this here. 
And did, you know what? I might, I might have already said happy birthday to everybody. So right up up in the right hand side, it says whose birthday it is. So you click on them, and then what you do is let's just say it's Carl's birthday today. So I'm going to go to Carl's Facebook page, and I'm going to get a bunch of videos or excuse me, a bunch of pictures of him, his family, him with his family, all, all kinds of really cool stuff that that I can use for this thing. So when I open this up, I mean, here's a good one. Here's him and Jody. Here's here him and a bunch of people. Here, just all kinds of cool stuff going on. Here's him with a bunch of friends. So I'm going to pop open that. And here's the cool thing about when you open this up, you can actually just right-click on the photo and save image, okay? Save it to your desktop, to a folder, whatever. And then when you'll notice these arrows pop up. You can grab another. There's a video. So I'm going to click to the next one. Here's another video of Carl. So I'm going to right-click, download. Choose it. Right-click. There's Ralphie boy. So I'm going to right-click, download on that. So you just keep downloading these video or these pictures. And then once you're done, you just go to Fiverr. Not Fiverr. You go to, where would it go? You go to, did I lose it already? Here it is. Okay, so you go to your Animoto and you just click add pics or videos. Now it's going to ask you to choose a style. You, once you choose the style, you can change it anytime you want. You can change the music. So if I click on music, it has most popular songs, new songs, recently used songs, or you can upload your own song if you want to, which is what I did. I found a song that fit this scenario and I uploaded the song. Um, to add pics and videos, you'll see that here's a video. The video is, let me just open this up for you. The video is longer than 10 seconds, but I just used a, a small portion of the clip of the video, okay? Let me just show you what I'm talking about there. Maybe. Gotta love going live. Gotta love going live, yeah. I have no idea why this isn't working. Okay, let me try this one. I'm kind of bummed. So anyway, when you open this video, there's going to be a little bar that will slide. Like, say this, I think this video was like a minute, minute and a half long. And um, let me just try one thing. So when it's a minute, minute and a half long. So you just slide the bar, and you can then you can push play. And I have no idea. Okay, there we go. See this little, see this little thing right here? Can you guys see that, Paul? Yes. Okay, that is 10 seconds. So it's actually five seconds. See this little bar right here? So the clip I used on this video was only five seconds because that's all I needed. Now, if I wanted 10, I would just move this out and see how the bar gets bigger. See how this gets bigger? So then I would slide it wherever in the video that I wanted it to play, okay? So I would just slide it wherever, and then I would click the play button to make sure it's the right part of the video. It's pretty cool how you can get it exact. Just know that you only have 10 seconds. Now, you can put 10-second clips one after another after another, but something like this, people like people love photos, all right? So that's how you add video, all right? And then the photos, as you upload the photos, here's the photos that I took. And where I got these photos from was inside, let me just go back, let me close this out, was on my wall, you'll notice that everybody today is posting something to do with 9-11. Um, let me just go. So there's a 9-11 photo. So all I did was when Brett Maxwell posted this. I clicked on it, and then I right-click on the photo, and I download it. He's got 46 shares on this thing. 179 people like it. I mean, this, it's pretty cool, right? So, I mean, we're paying tribute to it. It's just, a, it's just a great thing to share. There's no call to action on this. So I just scroll down, find all these pictures that have to do with today. Here's another one. Someone just did that. That's a beautiful one, by the way, Statue of Liberty. So you I like, like the you red, white, and blue. It. Oh, that's awesome! You know they do. They change the. Um, I don't. Is this this is the new one, right? This is the new one. So you right click, save image, and just keep going and going and put them into a folder, and then you upload them into your um, your Animoto account to upload more pics. Say that I wanted to add this one to it. All right. So I right click, save image, and I just click download. So I'm going to add this photo to my video. All right, so I'm going to click Add Picks and Vids. Is there any delay at all? Not, not really, no. Okay, Add Picks and Vids. Now I could pick from Facebook, Flickr, Photo Bucket, Picasso, Smart, Smug Mug, Instagram, Image Library, or I could upload my own pictures and videos. So I'm going to upload my own picture. There's the one I just did, and it's going to put it number second in line. <clears throat> now you'll notice that there's a yellow box around these. The yellow box is to get it to spotlight, which means I want to spotlight it so the picture stays there longer 
instead of less. So it just helps the pitcher stay there longer. All right. Now, Scott, do you have the ability to dictate the length of time that your spotlight stays, or, or is that just a, a built-in feature? You add the spotlight, and it and it it goes for four seconds instead of two seconds. Yeah, as far as I know, it's just a built-in feature. Okay. Yep. So you'll notice that I have a video here and I have a video here. So say I, I have, and what we did is we just we we had a video where I t I said something and then Mike said something. And you guys, and I'll send you the link to this video. You'll see it on social media sites. But what I did is, if you click on the actual video and you want to duplicate it, because I want one piece here and I want another piece here, all you do is click click duplicate. So what it's going to do is it's going to duplicate it. So now I can choose a different ten seconds of that video. Does that make sense? Pretty cool. I'm going to highlight that, delete that, and it's good to go. So now I have all my pictures. You can move the pictures around. Say when you do it, you want to move this picture and you want to put this up in this spot. All you do is left-click on it and drag it, and it puts it in that spot for you. All right? Pretty easy to use. Say you want to add text, you can just click on the Add Text bar. Here's the header and here's the text. You can do that as well. When we're doing birthday ones, we usually click Happy Birthday their name and then have a great day or make have an amazing day or whatever like that and we put the text in there. Um, Animoto does give you some of their own picks and vids. So if, right here if you want to click add picks and vids and you want to go to image library, you'll see a bunch of scenes, travel, like if I click on travel there's a bunch of travel pictures that they have in here for you that you can use, which is neat. There's Hollywood, all kinds of different stuff there. There is a couple different video clips that you can use travel again so here's some travel videos that you can use there's the statue of liberty which it would have been great um, for this one there's all kinds of different videos so you don't and if you don't like them you just delete them so you can actually click on it and then it, it, it'll allow you to play but to add it you got to click add one item down here all right so you can preview them now are all is preview, yeah. on the free version does it have all this many of the the extra pictures and the extra yeah. videos and stuff the only problem with the free version is you only get 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you this, though. Um, the functionality the works auto, exactly yeah. the same as what you're showing here as far as how Correct. to make the picture last a little bit longer, how to add a piece of video, Correct. how to add uh, some photos and music. Yes. It's just yes. it's a shorter video on the free version. Yeah, so here's the plus version, which has, allows you to give unlimited number. So, And I think it's, th it's per month, so it's $30. But it gives you a um, discount, which equals like isn't it like a sixty percent fifty or sixty percent discount i mean it's it's um it's five dollars per month so and I think it gives you a huge discount if you pay the whole year now you so do the plus case, plus not the pro is that correct on your actually, the version actually, you do I actually do the pro I actually do the pro what's Just the difference we do so many we do so many the pro gives you more templates to choose from and it allows you to do h d video so when you do it it converts it to h d for you so the video just looks cleaner. Okay. But I'm telling you, the, the plus, I don't know that it, for what you guys are doing, I don't know that I would even go any farther than that. If you get to where you're doing them for your referral partners or doing other videos, stuff like that, maybe the pro, and, it's, and then you're talking 39 bucks a month, but it's still, this one, for $60, and I think almost positive you get it for like 35 40 bucks if you pay for the whole year up front. I mean, it's silly. All right? I have no affiliate fee to Animoto. I just, I absolutely love it. We use it every single day. We upload birthday videos to it. We do all kinds of stuff to it. So great for doing virtual tours. We'll take pictures from a property and upload them into any property site type thing and stuff like that. So that's the pricing. So when you're done, you just click preview video. And what it's going to do is give you a preview. And I'll just do that. And then if I really don't care for previewing it because I know I got it where I want it, I just skip and produce. And then once it, uh, it just takes a couple minutes to produce. And once you do that, you'll see this little bar kind of slide across the top. And then it'll produce. Uh, the video for you, and then once you're done with this, it actually um, allows you to push it right to your YouTube account. So we'll let this go on, and then I'll go back in the PowerPoint and show you a couple other things, okay? Sound good? Yep. All right. So we just talked about this. So I'm going to show you, once this is done, how to go YouTube, Pinterest. Well, actually, I can do that right now. So let's go to my YouTube account, and I want to go YouTube. I probably have it open, but I'm just going to go there. Now, check this out. This is how easy it is to pin your videos to your Pinterest account, all right? So I'm going to click on Scotty Bud, and then I'm going to click on Video Manager. And then see all these videos that I have here? So if I am here, you don't have to do anything else except for click your little pin button up here. Pin it. And what it's going to do is it's going to pin all your videos. So the one I did today was right here. 
and I have not pinned this one yet, so I'm going to do it right from here. So I'm going to find the one that's, that I did today that has to do with 911, and I'm going to click pin it. And then after I pin it, now remember, I'm going for my YouTube. Now I'm, now I'm already in YouTube building my brand. Now I'm going to go to, to Pinterest to build my brand. And then I'm going to show you how to automatically set up an RSS feed to automatically send to your Twitter account. All right, so I'm going to just log in real quick here. And you can log in with your Facebook or Twitter, whichever you want best. Whatever is easiest for you. If you're already logged into Pinterest, then it's no big deal. So it's already here's all my bookmarks. Here's all my my boards that I have. Okay, so there's all my boards, and I've got video marketing, and then I have 9/11, never forget, and then I'm just going to pin it. That's all I want to say. Pin it, and it's done. Now, if I wanted to have more of a description there, I could. Um, you can you can put whatever you want there up to. You. I can't I can't remember how many words, but and then here's my pin of the actual pin of the video that I just pushed. So if you click on this right here, it's going to take you to the video in YouTube. See how that opens up like that? Pretty quick, huh? So that's, I mean, you can literally go through, create a board of all your videos as you start doing these happy birthday videos. Start pinning them so people, when they see it, they're like, oh, that's cool. That's neat. Give them other ideas. Just all kinds of fun stuff. So this link right here is now live. If I was to send that link out in an email, tweet it out, Facebook it out, I could uh, LinkedIn at anywhere. It's going to bring them back to my Pinterest, okay? So in Hootsuite, let me just show you how to take this to the next level. I'm going to log in here. And if you haven't uh, tried this yet, you will um, need to give it a try. Hootsuite is free, up to five profiles. Just log in real quick. So if I wanted to send this out to my social media sites, I log into Hootsuite. And um, go to go to right here, and then you'll notice over here is all my profiles of the ones that I want to send to. So what I'm um, 911, uh, never forget tribute, and then down here I'm going to add the link to Pinterest because I want to I want to still incorporate Pinterest and have people maybe. Uh, follow me on Pinterest, maybe they want to um, like my board, all kinds of cool stuff. And then, so I'm going to put the link to the, oops, that's the wrong link. Let me just go grab it, grab the right one here, sorry about that. So here's my Pinterest link right there, you guys see that? Yep. And then, let me go back to my Hootsuite account, I'm going to put this in here. Now, there we go. Oops, I gotta actually select my Facebook account here. So let me just click my Facebook, and then it'll allow me to put the link in there. So if you don't choose a Facebook, it's not a, gonna allow you to add a link. And then what I'm gonna do is shrink it. So what that's gonna do is it's gonna create. You'll be able to see video marketing 9/11 never forget. And then I want to push it to my Facebook, my Twitter. It's already gonna be there. I'm gonna push it again. And then any other groups or whatever I want to push to, I'm gonna push it to my LinkedIn and send it out. Okay? And you guys will see it as soon as I do it. Now, if I wanted to schedule it, say that there's certain times that are better than others, I can click on this little scheduling here and then schedule it to go out tomorrow morning, tonight at 8 o'clock when it's another prime time of people looking at my stuff. But really, I don't care because it's not its not about me today. It's about 9-11. And then I'm going to send now, and I'm going to push it out to all my social media sites. All right? And that's how I just tied in. I mean, let's go back to this PowerPoint here. I just tied in YouTube because it's in YouTube. I just tied in Pinterest. I sent it to Twitter, but um, the RSS feed, I will show you how to set that up right now. But then I went to Hootsuite and put it on Facebook and LinkedIn. Now, how long would that normally take if I was to log into YouTube, log into Pinterest, log into Twitter, log into Facebook, log into LinkedIn, and create a post to send that out there like that? It's going to take quite a while, right? It depends on if you get caught up checking out what other everybody else is doing on exactly. Facebook and checking out the pictures that you see as soon as you open up Pinterest and checking out what tweets are happening around you. And so that's the that's the that's part of the dilemma with social media management is that the getting stuck factor. Getting stuck, and it's tough, man. It's really tough not to go into Facebook and go, I mean, I do it all the time. I mean, I'm going to admit I do it. I go into Facebook and go, what was I supposed to do? Yeah, but doing it through the way that you I mean, just showed, you're, you're avoiding that no trap a little bit. You're Absolutely. you're getting out what you need to get out, but you're avoiding that Absolutely. trap. Yes, yes. So let's go back to, where's it at here? Okay, so here's my video.
that I got in Animoto that I created. I add a photo, I add a video. I mean, you don't have to add video to it, but you can actually send this link out right here to your database if you want to, but why not build your brand on YouTube, keep it off of uh, Animoto, and so I'll see how it's right here, and you can play it, and it's pretty cool, but click, click on the sharing link right here, and then it says export video. See that? I'm going to export video, and it's going to say, where do you want to export it to? Well, I want to put it in um, YouTube. Begin export. So if I push it again, it'll push another copy to my YouTube account. Now, I'm not going to do it, but I already did it once. So that's, um, that's how easy it is to put it in your YouTube account. Now it's in your YouTube as a link, and um, there's no branding except for myself and the video that I did. There's also right. a download video link just below that. So if you're Absolutely. downloading it to, to upload to another site, if you're a Vimeo or a Vidler user or something like that, you also have a download this video link so that you can actually keep yourself a copy of the of the video outside of Animoto on your computer. And here's the one where like the pro version or the one above the pro version is the upgrade to HD so it would upgrade and just be a, a little bit better quality video. That's the only thing. So and then of course there's more templates to choose from. There's some pretty cool templates in the the version that I have. I'm not saying you need that one. Most of the time you can get away with the free version honestly. 30 seconds is a long time you'd be surprised. You get about 10 to what 10 pictures Paul you think? Mm -hmm. Ten pictures, music. It, I mean, yeah. If would, you lengthen the pictures, yeah. it absolutely yeah. thirty seconds. The reality is, is a you know a long video. Somebody thinks they've been on a video a long time at two minutes. So if right. you think about what thirty seconds really is, you know, take the time. Sit there and count one one thousand. Count to thirty, and and you know that's a decent amount of video. And and at, for free, I, you know, it's a great absolutely. little virtual tour. It's a great birthday message. It's a great way to brand yourself, and get people to recognize who you are. Face recognition is everything in today's market. People, you know, people want to do business with who they know and trust. Well, they want that, but they also want to do their shopping on the internet. So being able to get to know somebody and trust them is difficult. Give them that ability to trust you. You know they're on the internet, so if they're going to be there, put your videos out there and give them that trust factor. Uh, it goes a long, long way. Yeah. So Bill, I think it was Bill Burns asked the question. Was it Bill Burns? Bill Jones. Bill Jones. Bill Jones asked the question. He says, "Can you kind of do a quick summary showing where you start?" And I would love to. So, and you guys are going to have access to this PowerPoint. Just contact the loan professional that sent you here. Um, but you, so you have an idea. You go, okay, I want to do a video about this. So today we chose 9-11. You start in Animoto. What, what, where you really start is you have to have pictures to upload to Animoto. So what I really should have done was idea, okay, here's my idea, and then go grab pictures, which I, you know, Animoto. So it's kind of like not 100%, but you, with your idea, you go find pictures. Either you go to Google, Facebook is a big one. I mainly use personal stuff. 99% of the time. If it's a business, then I grab a picture of them, grab a picture of their business card, grab a picture of maybe you know all the different marketing pieces that they do. I'll throw Facebook and LinkedIn and Twitter and stuff in there like that. The single property websites, I'll throw text code, QR code, all that fun stuff that a normal business should have when they're doing their marketing. And then for when you upload it to Animoto, and guys, it's really super simple. Do it one time. And here's the thing. If you have any questions, just go to the group in Facebook, and I'll, uh, I'll, I'll put up that group here in just a second. Have any questions, just ask us, because there's a lot of people that are using this stuff and uh, can show you how to do it, okay? So, and then you go to YouTube. So once you're done with Animoto and you got it the way you want it, you push it to your YouTube account, and then then you pin it to Pinterest. Because if you're, if, if, if you're skipping the Pinterest one, I can guarantee you, you have friends, family, coworkers that are sitting in Pinterest. They're they're hanging out, they're partying, they're spending two hours, three hours a day there. And if you're not there, pinning stuff and sharing stuff with people of what you're doing, they're gonna forget about you. I can promise you that. Okay, it's a huge cost of money if you're not playing at all the parties on a on a daily basis. And then from YouTube, you go to Pinterest, of course, like I said, and then tweet tweet it out. And then Hootsuite. I mean, you can go to LinkedIn, tweet out the link from Pinterest. You can go to Facebook, tweet out the or Facebook the link out in, in Facebook directly, whichever you want to do. I just like to automate this stuff. I, actually, Hootsuite could take the link from YouTube or Pinterest and automatically RSS it out to all these social media sites. I just like to maybe put different messages with it than I do than I put in Pinterest. Make sense? Yes. Okay. Another way to do video that I probably, I don't know, Paul and I use this probably more than anybody on, in the country, <laughs> is Jing Project. 
Guys, I do, this is such an amazing tool, and I know I've brought this up, I keep bringing it up, but, and I'm going to show you a little example of this. GeneProject.com, if you go there, it's a free download. Here's the free download, you click on it. And what it is, it's, it's, it allows you to capture photos, capture video, whatever is on your screen, and I'm going to give you some really cool examples. So you can make a point, like you can point, you can write, you can highlight, you can put a box around something. You can share images instantly with a little click of a button. You, um, no need to wait. Simply uh, paste the link in your IM or email address. So say you have an instant message or you want to send an email or something. Um, here's another one. You can do a video. So I'm just going to go show you right now an example of this. So say you go to Google and you're going to meet with a buyer or a seller tonight. So you click on Maps and um, you click on Maps and it takes you to the Maps. You go, all right, I want to get, I want to send them a video. And I want to connect with them in a way. Let them hear my voice. Let them see me because 99% of the people have a webcam, and I think I have it plugged in. So let's just see if I can get this baby up. See, so I'm going to go to my webcam. So I'm going to talk with you through my webcam at the same time as I am telling you where we're going to go to look at this home, okay? So I'm going to start out by saying, hey, I look forward to meeting you guys today. And here's the cool thing is I can record all of this. Well, you're seeing me right now. So I can record this on my screen with Jing Project. So uh, let me just do this real quick. Sometimes, just so you know, it's, it's right there. See, Paul, Paul, can you see that? Yep. Right up. Right up. Yep. Right up there. A little Jing ball. Right up there. Yep. So that little Jing ball. So that little plus right there allows me to cover my screen however much of the screen I want to cover. So I'm going to just drag it and cover all of my screen there. And then I'm going to click the little capture video. Can you guys see that when I do that? Capture video on the bottom left? Mm -hmm. Capture video. And within three seconds, it's going to do a little countdown. And then I'm going to go to uh, my video, and I'm going to say, hey, just uh, look forward to meeting you guys today at that house we're going to look at on uh, 375 Twister Avenue. Um, it's a beautiful night, so uh, I'll bring some water for us. It's going to be warm. And let me just give you directions on how to get there. So, if, you know, of course, I'd already have the address put in, put in here. 5374 Autumn Court, Kalamazoo, Michigan, and then you just go like that. So you guys are, um, and then you just put in there, get directions. So if you put in their address, 2415 South 11th Street, and then you just, so you'd say, hey, you're here, and we're going to go down here. So um, if, if you have any questions, I'd probably just hop on 94, go down to the Sprinkle Road exit, and um, it just it's, as soon as you turn left on the corner, it's the yellow house on the right hand side, and you can't miss my sign. It's right there. It's you know that sign there. So I uh, look forward to seeing you guys. If you have any questions before, just give me a call. You got my number, but if not, it's two one seven four four eight one. And uh, have a good day, and I'll see you tonight. Bye bye. And then you go ahead and click this little finish. And the cool part is you can instantly download the video, but better yet, you can just click this little share via screencast. And within a couple minutes, you have a link to a video that is done for you. And I'm just going to click the link so I can show you while I actually go through the rest of the rest of the stuff I want to cover with you guys. So that is so easy to do. Say you want to say you're in RD territory and you want to go to isitrd.com and you want to show somebody how to find out if their home is rule development approved. And this is and I do this all the time. So it's like, hey, is it already approved? So if I'm working with a buyer and I'm like, hey, here's a way. If for some reason you're it's over the weekend and it's 11 o'clock at night and you want to find out if it's already approved, here's the website. So you click on single family housing. I think you guys are Paul. You get any idea behind this? It's pretty cool stuff, right? Uh, absolutely. It's you use. Right. You know, you're you're continuously branding yourself by putting your name in your face. It puts a likability factor instead of a typed out message that's so completely unpersonal. Absolutely. You're literally looking at and talking directly to me. It's like we're having a right. conversation in the same room. And trust me on this, right. your your competition are not no, doing no. this. And one hundred percent they are no. not doing this. No. Now just a, a quick side note on that. If you were employing the strategy and when you're doing a jing and recording your webcam, recording your webcam is it, it it's a large video file you want to make sure that you keep those videos very short under a minute uh, the longer you get the larger the file is uh, when you go to share it screencast will actually block it from downloading if it's too big of a file uh, so just make sure that you're keeping them short sweet to the point 
it's a great way to do it. You just need to make sure that you're keeping them short and sweet so that you can actually short use the videos you make. Absolutely. So that's that. So um, if you want, it, Jing Project will allow you to go up to five minutes. It, you know, it's going to take a long time to render, but you can go up to five minutes. If you need something longer than that, we use Camtasia or Snagit. Those, those are, does Snagit let you go more than five minutes? It does. Snagit is, does. Um, Snagit is the paid version of, of Jing. Jing used to have a pro okay. version, but they discontinued it right. in favor of okay. Snagit. Snagit will let you go longer than five minutes, but I, I'll tell you, if you're listening to this call, I do not ever recommend you make any video anything longer than two minutes. Uh, because you're yes, losing your audience, the extra three minutes of that video is, it, it, to be honest with you, is pointless because nobody's getting past the two-minute mark for you. Correct. Okay. Cool. So, um, so here, here's a couple things that I just come up with some uses. So, directions to your buyer's home, personal happy birthday wish, explanation on part of a sales agreement. So, say you have a sales agreement that. Like in what I do is I keep notes of like okay I've been asked this question three times so obviously it's the it's like one of the top ten questions and I would highly 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 how often I mean how much do I believe in this highly recommend this all right li listen to this so you have ten ten of the top ten questions that you get asked every single time you work with a buyer or every single time you work with a seller and if you they don't ask you I I can guarantee you're thinking it because it's just that's what everybody asks. So why not do a 10 video series of the 10 top questions and beat your, your clients to the punch? For example, do a short video on, hey, I, I um, just want to let you know, one of the number one questions I get asked is, do we need to do a home inspection when buying a home? Probably one of the number one questions, right? Do we need to do a well and septic inspection if it has a well? Do we need a pest inspection? Do we need an appraisal? Why we need an appraisal? What is title insurance? Do I need title insurance? Do where do we close? What, I mean, all and this stuff that comes up. That's not just short one video. One minute video series. Yep, no, that's not ten, one video. Yeah, that's ten, ten videos. videos, and you put them on. Absolutely. We just learned a couple weeks ago YouTube how to build channel. a blog page. Yeah. Oh, you, you put them Absolutely. on your YouTube channel, and then you Absolutely. make a blog page called Paul's yeah. Real Estate yeah. Answers. And you put it out there, and you brand yourself as the as the expert because guess what? You're the one answering those questions that you know that those Correct. people have. Great idea, Scotty. Correct. Really good stuff. Correct. Yep. So explanation on part. Okay. So weekly status updates. What about this? If you're not doing this, okay. This is another one. I'm kind of going squirrel on you here, but Google Docs allows you to create a listing presentation like a status update. So what are you doing with your sellers? It's like we work so hard to build that client and build that relationship. And then after that, it's like, man, I don't have any good news. So I for sure don't want to pick up that phone and call them because I have nothing to tell them. But what if you had stats on how many hits came in and how many hits hit the virtual tour? How many did this? How many did this? And you did a little recording of it using Google Docs on an Excel spreadsheet going, hey, just want to let you know I got uh, three hits on Craigslist this week. I had 10 hits on the virtual tour. I had three people text for information. In a one-minute little update, send them the video. They're hearing your voice. They're feeling your passion. Maybe if you have something new that came up that, hey, we got a, we got a hit off uh, Google something today. Just thought I'd let you know. And, oh, I have somebody that's supposed to be calling me back that wants to maybe look at your home. Hey, if you have any questions, just uh, feel free to give me a call. Look forward to hopefully selling your home soon, and we'll talk to you next week. All right, so little stuff like that that is – I mean, a phone call is good, an email is not as good, a personal message that's directly related to them with their name in it, I can't even tell you how far that goes because that's where you take it to getting referrals from their friends, family, and coworkers. Make sense? Mm. All right. Examples of tools, systems, and strategies you are using to get them massive exposure, educational videos like we talked about, and then personal experience with other clients. So as you go through and you have experiences that happen, they go, man, I hope that never happens again. What a great idea to do a video. Like I was meeting with a uh, um, was a pest inspection guy today, and I go, man, if I was you and I was to market your business, I would do ever. I would market myself as how to not have me come to your house. You do not want to spend two hundred, three hundred dollars for me to come to your house and have to one inspect it, two treat it. Here's a hundred things you can do to keep me from coming to your house and having to hang out and try and treat your home for bugs. Talk right? about it, branding as the expert. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Because absolutely. it's like, push me away. Now, what I want to end with, and then we'll answer any questions you might have, is I did this yesterday, Paul, and, I, and you were there down in Florida. We learned this. In Fiverr, if you have not went to Fiverr before, 
this thing is insane. So go to Fiverr and search Traffic Geyser, okay? Traffic Geyser. Traffic Geyser is a, a, a site that allows you to push your videos to, I don't know, hundreds of different places automatically. This is what comes up. So you get, I will submit your, look at this, Paul, for five bucks. I will submit your video to all the video sites inside Traffic Geyser in 24 hours or less for five bucks. Hey, so, just so you know, the reason why Scotty is pointing you to do this as opposed to going to and signing up for a Traffic Geyser account and pushing your own videos to all the different sites on Traffic Geyser in 24 hours, instead of doing it yourself, you're doing it on Fiverr for $5 because it's an expensive very really? expensive, very expensive software, and these guys yeah, have yeah. accounts and are willing to do it for you on their Traffic Geyser yeah. account for five dollars. Yep, exactly, Michael. Oh. It's a thousand bucks a year. I, I mean, that, a that's a bucks a year. Okay, it's it's expensive. It gets pricey. It gets pricey. I I've whoa, geez, holy crap. Okay, I'm gonna get off of this. So um, so here's the thing. If you want to literally own the first page of Google and you are doing videos to educate people, to interact with people, to to connect with people. Now, I'm not saying send one of these videos that I just showed you how to get from one address to another. That's not the video I'm talking about. But if you create a video that is important to buyers and sellers, that maybe your virtual tour, for God's sake, that's the video that I would put up. If you did a virtual tour and the title in YouTube was the address of the home, and then the video is the virtual tour to the home. Maybe you're showing like a live tour, maybe some pictures, whatever it may be. That's the one I'd pay five bucks. Get it out there. It's going to be literally plastered all over the internet. More exposure. I mean, you can say, Mr. Seller, I, I actually post your. Here's an. E I wonder if I still got the email. But the email literally had 23 different sites that it pushed my video to. I mean, is it going to get more exposure? Is it going to be seen by more people? Absolutely. Maybe. So maybe if not, then um, then I don't I don't know. But I mean, there's if for five bucks, if you only did it once a month, just to build your exposure, build your brand type thing. Huge, huge, huge opportunity there. So I just wanted to show that Fiverr, Google Traffic Guide. Another one is Tube Mogul. And I searched that the other day, and uh, Tube Mogul didn't have any people doing Tube Mogul. Those Traffic Guys was the one. So, all right. So how to benefit from Animoto on YouTube? Eliminates camera sinus because you really don't need to be in the video, right? But you can still have massive exposure, still be doing video, which is number one. Eliminate don't uh, don't know what to say, which the pictures do the talking, right? Pictures say a thousand words. You still get bonding and trust because it's coming from you and your account, and they can see what you do for a living and who you are. And I think that's what I put next. People are reminded of who you are and what you do for a living, which is huge. And what not to post on Facebook or do a video on. Religion and politics, as bad as you want to fight this or interact or po post your opinion out there, you are immediately going to piss off 50% of your people right now. So if you want people to hide you and never talk to you again, or I mean, people take this stuff very serious. Do not talk, talk religion and politics. Bad news, guys, there's enough bad news. Turn on the TV. There's like as much as you could physically possibly take in except for Murray won the US Open last night that's pretty good news well he's, here's he's the cool thing dude. about both of those things it's okay if you want to post politics or religion if you have if you don't mind you want to fight that if fight. you don't mind you alienating 50 percent right. of your crowd the other thing with right. with posting bad news think about it in your own terms when you go to Facebook yeah. do you ever want to click like on something that's bad news do you ever want to make a positive comment of some sort on something that's bad news Neither does anyone right. else. So, so use your Facebook in that way. Yes. Okay. So, um, so be a ray of sunshine. I, I mean, I cannot stress to you enough. There is so much heartache out there. There's so much stress. People are not happy. If you can make them laugh, make them smile, um, just any way, shape, or form, be that ray of sunshine to them. You will be their new best friend. They will remember you for that. I cannot tell you how many times I talk about my videos at a closing table or at a signing every single time it's just that's what they remember that's why they call me because because I make them laugh things you need uh, droid iPhone and a camera if you don't have one or a webcam of course and guess what this is Paul is that my new iPhone Woo! No, I'm just kidding I wish isn't that pretty cool though that would be a very cool phone I'd have to get that one <laughs> 
just so all the iPhone junkies out there know this, tomorrow at 1 o'clock Eastern, I believe it is, they are being announced, the new iPhone 5. We're going to have details on it, and it's going to be available and will be at your house September 21st. Okay? Can I get a bunch of iPhone? Woohoo! All right, so uh, if you're looking for an iPhone. Scotty is not right. going iPhone. Scotty is an Android user. He prefers the ease no, you know at which a droid is you know used. Scotty, stop it. I won't admit it right now. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll save it for when I have it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, I'm going to skip. I'm going to skip the rest because we're out of time. But um, any questions that I can answer? I know I know I covered a lot, so I don't want to go any deeper. You you did cover quite um, a bit. And Tom Scaglione has a fantastic question now. Scott, I think you know yeah. Tom. You got an opportunity to meet him down here in Florida when you were here. Absolutely. Um, question is, should you monetize your YouTube videos? Yes, absolutely. Monetize them in a way that um, a title is everything, because when people search, like for example, if you go search in YouTube, Kalamazoo Mortgage, which is what where I live, you're going to see that um, these are paid. These are ads that people pay to be here. Was of course Quicken Loans. They they have the money to do that. Consumers Credit Union. They have they have money. I'm number one. I'm number two. I'm number three. Let me just scroll down a little more. I'm number four, I'm number five, I'm number six, I'm number seven, I'm number eight, I'm number nine, I'm number ten, and then somebody else beat me out for number eleven spot. All right? So, um, is Kalamazoo, is anybody ever going to search Kalamazoo Mortgage? Probably not, but if somebody searches for a mortgage in Kalamazoo, <clears throat> might I show up with one of my videos that I have, every single video has a call to action? Absolutely. All right? So, when you go to your videos, let me just let me just pick one and show you, and uh, let's click edit. Now, do I do it the best that anybody sh should do? Probably not, but this one actually is a bad example because I didn't put anything in this one because I just did it this morning. Let me pick uh, how to remove the owner from your clothes. You guys know how to do that? <laughs> <laughs> so what I did is I put, put my website first. To make sure you, yeah. So make sure you have your website first, so that's the first thing they can see, because this is all they see is the first couple lines. And then so your website, you want them to be able to go there. And then I really go, Scott helps out a part, uh, um, Scott helps out a part of his team with serious closing problem. I give them, I make, I make it curious, because I send this out social media and by email. And then of course, um, the taglines, the tags that I put in are like, um, Kalamazoo home buyer, uh, buying a home in Kalamazoo, Stuff like that. That to, I mean, I have a long list of tags. Let me just see if I can find them. It, uh, it, just FYI, on YouTube, it used to show you the tags of any video you wanted to see directly from there. I will tell you, the to see it now, you must go to YouTube on your phone. If you click on yeah. See More on your, on your mobile phone, your iPhone, or your better used Android, um, you can actually see the the tags from the the mobile device. It, it doesn't show you on the regular site anymore, but from the mobile device, it will show you what the tags of any video on there are. You simply click and see more under happy. the video. Good. Sorry. Cool. And I'm more than happy to share this list. If what I did is I I found somebody did this and I just copied them. So this is Kalamazoo everything like home for sale, homes in uh, Kalamazoo house for sale all the way down to Kalamazoo, Michigan houses, Kalamazoo, Michigan property. So what I usually do is come and pick a couple of these, and then sometimes I'll go and go, all right, what are the top keywords right now, like Paul showed you last week in last week's recording that you can get from your loan officer. But we showed you like what are, how to find the top keywords in your area. Here's homes for sale in Kalamazoo. I could just flip some. So here's a long, long list of keywords that somebody spent the time to do, and I just copied them and happened to find it on a video. Here's the thing. When you go to YouTube and you search, go homes, for sale in Kalamazoo. Whatever comes up, click on the keywords that you're using. Here's Gull Lake Schools, Kalamazoo, Michigan, home for sale. So let's just see what keywords they're using. And, you know, oh, is that why they hit them? You can't see them anymore? That's correct. That's the deal. You can't see them anymore on you YouTube. Anymore, now, a couple so of questions that are related. Yeah. A couple people are asking a related yeah. question. How many tags can you use on YouTube? As many as you would um, like. As many yeah, as you would like, there is no yeah. limit. It uh, there's no character limitations in the box provided for you to add your tags. Um, recommended is that you want a minimum of, of three tags for each one of your videos. Uh, yeah. You're you're just kind of diluting the sauce, if you will, if you add more than like 20 tags. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but minimum is yeah. three. Yeah. 
and what I'll do is get with your loan officer with the same here, and I'll, I'll make sure that they have a copy of that tag list. And then what I would do with this tag list is just take Kalamazoo out and put your city in. Or you could do Actually, yourself your own favor and go to keywordtool.com. Uh, go to keyword, tool. yeah, keyword tool for Google and find yeah. your own keywords that are specific to your local search area and what people are actually searching in your area. Correct. Probably be a better way to do that than, than copy a yeah. Kalamazoo's search list. It's going to be very yeah. similar, don't get me wrong, but you it want is, your own is, list yeah. and, and it's very easy yeah. to download that list from from uh, the keyword <laughs> tool. Now the same question has come up by several, so I'll make mention for those of you who are new to our program. Um, it, to get a copy of today's oh, yeah. recording or any of our past recordings, you simply need to contact the loan professional who invited you today. Um, they sponsor this program for you, and uh, they've they've made it available for you. They've got access to the recorded classes, not only today's recorded class, but any of the previous recorded classes as well. So you may have heard us mention today search engine optimization class or a class on how to manage your, your social media in 10 minutes or less. Just contact the loan professional who is providing this great class for you, and they'll be able to hook you up with those things. Um, you know, just remember they are loan officers first and foremost, so any anybody you'd like them to call for you, they're more than happy to do it. Absolutely. And then the last but not least, Paul, I appreciate you, brother. Um, if everybody, if, if you have not signed up for Facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash Agent Mastermind, I know I'm, I sound like a broken record, but this is a group, it's, this thing's over 600 people now. If you have a question about anything we've ever covered, at, there's somebody in there that knows the answer, and half the time it's Paul or I or one of our team members that goes in there and answers questions for you. A lot of times you'll get a gene video of how to answer your question. If it's a technical thing that we need to show you, it's easier to show you than it is to tell you and print, we'll do a video for you. But if you're, if you're not a member of this, it's just an amazing place. Here's the cool part about this group. When you post a question there, nobody sees it except for the members of the group, your friends, your family. It's private. It does not get published to your whole sphere of influence. So nobody will know that you're asking a question about how to do a video or asking a question about how to use Animoto. Nobody will even know that unless you, of course, post it on your feed. But if you post it inside the group, they'll never know about it. All right? Paul, man, um, I love this stuff, man. I, I just Video is such an amazing tool. It's literally made me so much money. It's allowed me to like literally spread my wings and meet so many unbelievable people like yourself. I mean, I don't even know, if I wasn't doing video, I don't even know if I'd know Carl, you know? Yeah. I don't know if I know Carl White. I, I mean, I might have never met you if I wasn't out there actively looking for out-of-the-box strategies. And then Carl was the video master of the year. This was 12 years ago or six, seven years ago. I don't even know how long, but um, I started doing this, and just, I've met so many amazing people. It's allowed me to recession-proof my business because people know, like, and trust me. They get my videos every week, and I just can't tell you how powerful this is. So if you were to pick one thing one thing only that you were to focus on this month or next month, it's video. I mean, I would learn every aspect there is to know about video marketing and literally incorporate that into your business like right now. Okay? Absolutely. Hands down, the best thing you can do for, for branding yourself. I mean, and that's really what you're doing with any aspect of your business. It's all about branding yourself as that go-to person so that people want to buy from you, people want to sell with you. It, it, it all comes for full circle. And the video is a great way to get that instant trust with without having to go and meet with them 10 times a week. No question, man. That's huge. Our brother, man, I appreciate it like a brother. And, I, man, I, you know what? I'm going to be down there next week. So uh, I'm going to be doing Agent Mastermind from Florida. Can't wait. Be with my brother, Paul. Awesome. Yeah, Looking forward to you. I did there. actually going to play a little golf with Mr. Mann. Yeah. While you guys are doing We're going to get, out, get you guys out on the golf course and show you how a fisherman plays. All right, man. All right. Well, um, I hope you can make it next week. I'm not. Um, we got a couple things up in the air as far as what we're going to cover next week. But every Tuesday, 12 o'clock, join our Facebook group and um, look forward to hanging with you guys and growing with you guys and hearing the testimonials and hearing what's hearing what's working and um, you know just share with us. You know, if, you, if somebody has something they would love to share on class, make sure you get with Paul or myself, and we'd love to have you on one of our classes and let you you know um, be be the show and show us what's working and what you're doing that's uh, you know generating leads and generating business for you, all right? 
Paul, any last words, man? Uh, that's it, Scotty. You said it all. Thank you again for being here, folks. We know you could be anywhere else in the entire world, and you chose to spend this time with us today. Uh, if you'd like a copy of the recordings, again, to, you know, make sure that you get in there, get in touch with your loan officer, and they'll be able to hook you up with that. And we will see you right back here, same time, same channel, same place next week. Sounds good, buddy. Take care. Take care. The organizer has ended the session and this call will be disconnected. Goodbye.